Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on patterns with numbers. A number pattern is a list of numbers that follow a certain sequence or rule. One of the simplest and most recognizable number patterns is the following. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc. This represents the counting numbers starting from 1. Other examples. There are numerous other number patterns which are created using addition or subtraction, for example. For each of the following examples, describe in words the rule which is used to create each pattern. So our first example is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Now if we look carefully, this is the rule. Start with the even number 2, that's that one there, that number there and keep adding 2 to each new number. So 2 plus 2 gives you 4, 4 plus 2 gives you 6, 6 plus 2 gives you 8, 8 plus 2 gives you 10, etc. This pattern is the set of even numbers beginning at 2. Example 2, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. The rule, start at the odd number 1. That's this one here. And keep adding 2 to each new number. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 2 is 5. 5 plus 2 is 7. 7 plus 2 is 9, etc. This pattern is the set of odd numbers beginning at 1. Something special about even numbers. There is a very special quality about even numbers that makes them very easy to recognize. It is the following. Every even number ends in either 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8. So it doesn't matter how big or small the number is, if the last digit or if the last single number is one of those five, it is an even number. Also, there is a very special quality about odd numbers that makes them very easy to recognize. It is the following. Every odd number ends in either 1, 3, 5, 7 or 9. So it doesn't matter how big or small the number is. If the last single number is one of those five, it is an odd number. Other number patterns. There are many other number patterns that are very regular and easy to recognize. Here's one here, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I'm sure you've recognised that the above represents the five times tables. 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, etc. The above represents the seven times tables. And 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, etc. The above represents the ten times tables. A special number pattern. There are many special number patterns that may be a bit tricky to recognize. Some of them just need a little bit of extra thought. Consider this number pattern 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, etc. At first glance the above pattern does not seem obvious because it is quite different from the ones we saw earlier. So here's one possible rule to explain how to form the above pattern. The following rule is one way we can use to create the above pattern. The above pattern. The difference between 1 and 4 is 3. So from 1 to 4 the difference is 3 because 4 take away 1 is 3. The difference between 4 and 9 is 5. 9 take away 4 is 5. The difference between 9 and 16 is 7. 16 take away 9 is 7. The difference between 16 and 25 is 9. 25 minus 16 is 9. The difference between 25 and 36 is 11. 36 minus 25 is 11. So, using the above information, what is the next number in the sequence? 
So in other words, the differences here are 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. So what would be the next difference? Sorry, they're a bit hard to recognise. 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. We're going up by 2 each time. So the next difference will be 13. See that? 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. So the next difference is 13. So what's 36 plus 13? I think you've worked that out. It's 49. There we go. Now here's another explanation how we can create this pattern. Each number is the square of the counting numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. In other words, the first term is 1 squared, which is 1. The next term is 2 squared, which is 4. 3 squared is 9. 4 squared is 16. 5 squared is 25. 6 squared is 36. And 7 squared is 49. So this video has introduced us to the idea of number patterns. And we've seen some very regular patterns which are easy to recognise. And we've also looked at this little tricky one here. And we've explained a few ways how to create it.